three, two, one. Fight, robots, Away we go. Fight. Now you can see the front of Knuckle Sandwich has this uh, uh, plow added, this front wedge that is in hopes of defeating the undercutter on Monkfish. It's a dicey move that could get uh, beat up, bent up, or torn off. You can yep. see it's already bending up a little bit. What Monkfish wants to do is get around to one of those corners on that wedge and start peeling it away. But what Knuckle Sandwich wants to do first is really go weapon to weapon and try and get under Monkfish and start popping it in the air. You'll see that, uh, that they're successful if they're able to send Monkfish into the wall several times here in this fight. Yeah, but Luke, talking about the durability of Monkfish, uh, even if Knuckle Sandwich operates perfectly, it feeds that wedge into their opponent and hits them from the underbelly, it's no guarantee that Monkfish is going to go down. However, if Monkfish is able to tear the front plow off of Knuckle Sandwich, it's going to be all over quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Monkfish is absolutely bulletproof. We've seen some of the most destructive fights ever uh, from Monkfish. Monkfish uh, getting burned, Monkfish getting its legs broken, continuing to run. Look at the kinetic energy at play here. These weapons aren't even getting a chance to spin up to full power, and the robots are still flying around the arena. Peter is such an aggressive driver, never staying more than a couple of inches away from his opponent, just hoping to come in here and capitalize. But Remy de Guzman uh, driving here the minibot, He's really doing well here uh, on Team Monkfish. Now, remember, these are both relatively new robots in the world of combat robotics. Uh, it's going to sound like a lot. They have 29 fights between them. That's, you know, a, a reasonable amount, but it's not the long heritage uh, that we often see. Oh, wow, but what's the, that? Oh, that is a tire shred off the side of Knuckle Sandwich. Yeah, the now, right side tire is gone off of Knuckle Sandwich. They still have a wheel, though, Luke. They can still drive a little bit on that side. Uh, it's not going to be as smooth, but it is still running. That is a lot of damage points, though, for Monkfish. Absolutely. That is certainly functional damage, even if it's not critical drivetrain damage. And Monkfish with this suffocating drive style really turning on the gas here in the last 30 seconds. Look at how integral the minibots have been to Monkfish, and yet uh, Knuckle Sandwich's minibot rarely getting into the action uh, in the other direction. Wow, 20 seconds left here in this fight. This one will very likely go to the judges. Oh. Damage on the side of Monkfish, uh, stripping off that wheel, or that, that tire from Knuckle Sandwich. Certainly the most visible uh, bit of damage completed in this fight. I'm sure, oh, nice pin though. Talking about Knuckle Sandwich not having their minibot engage. That is a good way to end the fight. Uh, a very good impression for the last moments. We do have a judge's decision from the last of the three pound quarterfinals. So let's go ahead and put that up on the screen now. And that's right, your winner, Knuckle Sandwich. It's an all Texas semi on what? that side of things, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be absolutely crazy. Wow, split decision on that one. And whoa, I'm a touch surprised. Yeah, that was a really fun fight. Uh, yeah. I am a touch surprised as well. Very close, very, very close split decision, understandably so.